When I started doing the posts and the pictures, I, I never, I was just impressed that the people in the thread itself thought it was really cool and interesting and, and really never expected it to go out of the thread. Uh, I think someone even in the thread remarked like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if we put these out there and people thought they were real because it's so interesting and unique and you know, strange. Uh, and then a few other people started doing their own Slenderman posts. And, and then uh, within a few weeks, people were just, you know, starting to distribute it and make more Slenderman. Uh, Slenderman mythology was growing, like, right away, a few weeks after it was created. It's easy to describe, you know, kind of his appearance and maybe kind of his method, like his methods, but to describe his motives is, like, impossible because that's the whole point. He's, he's like an open source creature. You can ascribe to him whatever trope or whatever you find frightening. And that's, I think, part of his, you know, his appeal to a mass audience. When thinking about the physicality of Slender Man, uh, forests are often very scary, creepy places. It plays a huge part in a lot of horror, a lot of ghost stories and whatnot. Um, but I also wanted him to appear anywhere. Like, you could be on an elevator in the middle of an urban environment and he could still be there. Um, there could be a park in a, you know, in a city and you know, like he can appear there. You can be in some out of the way rural setting in the middle of say Indiana and he'll be there.